Okay, hey guys, Nonkul Roger with the part 6 of how you can organize a show for yourself. Uh, so, next part is hidden costs. Um, make sure that you uh, know that during the show or when everything is prepared you will still have some hidden cost. Think about it and concentrate it. Bef uh, because if you would, uh, for example, when the show starts and you don't have any particular type of food for your for your bands or DJs or whatever then you will need to go and get it so you have to pay for that as well then uh, you have the means of earning income from the gig it can be one from the entrances uh, people pay for the entrance of course number two uh, the bar if you manage with the owner of the place that you can have a percentage from the bar calculate uh, how many consumptions will it take uh, to generate a certain amount of money then you can also uh, sell your own merchandise if you have and you can also sell food so food is also a very great source of, of income during long gigs or long parties it's it's uh, one of one of the most important drinks and foods and, and entrances this will be your your um, main uh, main money earners to get yourself to the zero point and uh, to make sure that you have some money left to pay your your uh, DJs to pay your bands uh, to make sure that that the guys uh, can go home with a lot of great memories and that everybody's satisfied with your show so tip never charge too much for the drinks why well very simple because I hate it I hate when in, when I go to the shows and uh, or when I go to some foreign festivals, uh, when I went to to Germany, for example, uh, and you get one beer and you pay three euros for that, I mean that's theft, you know. So uh, that that's just immoral in my kind. You can um, actually charge uh, a little smaller amount for your drinks, but by doing that, the fans will be really grateful and they will actually drink more, uh, maybe with some pleasant. Uh, consequences but nevertheless <laughs> it, it will be fun anyway okay then we have your general preparation for that you will need some uh, you know sheet of paper some some something to write with and most of all your creativity so as I said before book a date this is very important because this factor will push you uh, will push you in the back because you have a dat date set and you will need to be doing something on that date so get moving you know then book a venue this is very important because you cannot book anyone any bands or DJs before you you have your place to, to stage your event itself okay then you have the artists themselves you have to book them uh, also make sure that uh, you have some kind of contract set up with them that they uh, can be happy and, and satisfied and that uh, they can see that you're doing your best for them and for the fans as well and uh, they will be grateful if they can see that they they will be grateful and they will neglect any kind of uh, things that you might not put up for them maybe if you put too little beer they they will not even worry about that you know so okay uh, arrange stage and equipment this is very very important good stage good equipment good backline some lighting these are just the basics so you can go as far as you want in that but uh, make sure that the show really shines you know then really arrange your food and drinks in that matter that the drinks will not be too cost uh, cost uh, costly and that the food will be available in uh, with plenty amounts and that the food will be available to the bands okay gather a crew that's very important i'm gonna talk to you about that in part seven hang on guys